This is a risk assessment tracker which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. On the left hand side, we have got our data where we have got risk, description, manager, probability and its impact. Just after that, we have got the risk level. Probability and impact will be managed through drop downs. Currently, the impact is moderate. If I click on drop down and will select critical, risk level will change and colors will change accordingly. Let's come to right hand side. Over here, we have got two axes, Y axis and X axis. In Y axis, we have got all the probability and in X axis, we have got impact. Probabilities may be very likely, likely, possible, unlikely and rare. In the same way, there are different impacts like negligible, minor, moderate, major or critical. Based on probability and impact, we have got all the details. Let's come to left hand side. Just after that, we have got visuals of our risk assessment tracker. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. Currently, we have got a single sheet and that is sheet 1. I'll double click on sheet's name. This will be text matrix. We'll click on A1. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B2. This will be serial number, risks, description, manager, probability, impact, risk level. We'll select the whole column and we'll align all the things in center. We'll select the whole sheet and we'll align all the things in mid. We'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control right arrow key and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. We'll create borders. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll do as Arial bold. We'll click just under serial number one, two. We'll select both and we'll drag this till 10. We'll click on serial number. We'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key, and we'll create borders. I'll take the data of risk, description, and manager from my example file. So I have taken the data. Let's come to right hand side. We'll come to column I. We'll take this closer. We'll leave J blank and we'll click on K. We'll select till O and we'll merge the cells. This will be impact. We'll come to column J and we'll select till bottom. We'll merge the cells. This will be probability. We'll click over here and we'll copy the text. Control C or Command C. We'll hit enter. We'll come over here. We'll go to formula bar and we'll paste my text. Control V or Command V. Enter. We'll click on probability. We'll go to home tab. We'll come in the center, alignment. And from here, we will change the text orientation. Rotate text up. We'll change the font style as Arial Bold. Now I'll come to column K and we'll click on K3. We'll select till O and we'll create borders. This will be negligible, minor, moderate, major, critical. We'll click just under negligible. Let's insert one column over here. Insert. This will be very likely, likely, possible, unlikely, rare. We'll select all and we'll create borders. We'll select the headers and we'll change the cell color. We'll change the font color. Over here also, we will change the cell color as well as font color. We'll align all the things in center. We'll put some color over here. I'll click on probability and we'll unmerge the cells. We'll select once again and we'll merge the cells. We'll take this closer. Now as per probability and impact, we have to put our risk over here. If it's negligible and rare, risk may be low. We can put low over here. In the same way, if it's very likely and critical, risk may be extreme. In the same way, I'll put all the risk over here. I have filled up all the risk based on probability and impact. Now I'll highlight all the risk. We'll select the whole sheet. We'll go to home tab. We'll come in the center. Conditional formatting. From here, I'll select Highlight Cells Rules. We'll come to right and we'll click on Equal To. We'll take this to left. Equal to Low. We'll click on drop down. Customize Format. On the top, we can see four things. Number, Font, Border and Fill. We will go to Fill. We'll come to left. We can see no color. We'll click on drop down and we'll select a desired color. We'll go to Font and we'll change the font color. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. Okay, so all the risks which are low got highlighted in green. 
Let's go to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to over here I'll type medium. We'll click on drop down, customize format, fill. From here I'll be selecting a desired color and we'll change the font color. We'll come down and we'll click on OK. OK. In the same way, I'll highlight extreme as well as high. So I've highlighted all the things. Let's come to left. Probability. I'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data tab. We'll come in the center, data tools. In data tools, we get an option of data validation. We'll click on data validation. We can see any value over here. We'll click on drop down and we'll select least. We'll click over here and we'll select all the probabilities from top to bottom. We'll go on top, we'll click over here and we'll do OK. So my drop down list got created. Let's select very likely. Let's come to impact. I'll select from top to bottom. We'll go to data tab. We'll come in the center data tools and from here I'll be selecting data validation. To create the list, I'll have to select list from here. Source. I'll click over here. We'll come to right and we'll select all the impact. We'll go on top and we'll click on OK. So my drop down list got created in impact also. Let's select minor. We'll come to left. I'll fill up probability as well as impact. So I have taken probability as well as impact. Now we will be putting our formula for risk level and our risk level will be calculated from here. Means from this table, our formula will be plus or equal to index bracket open array. I'll take this down. From here, I'll select my whole data. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged comma match bracket open. What we have to match over here? We have to match probability. So I'll click on probability comma where we have to look for this probability among all the probabilities. We'll press F4 or function F4 and we'll lock my range comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket. We will be using one more match for impact. So I'll put comma match bracket open lookup value. Impact will be our lookup value this time comma lookup array where we have to look for the impact among all these headers. We'll press F4 or function F4 one time and my range will be logged comma zero for exact match. We'll close the bracket and we'll close the bracket till bracket doesn't get black and we'll hit enter. Now we can see extreme in risk level. If it's very likely and critical, very likely and critical, it's extreme. Formula is working perfectly. Let's drag this down. We'll go to view tab and we'll remove the grid lines. Let's come to left. Now if probability will change as possible, risk level got changed in the same way. If impact will change major risk level is high. So we can't see any changes, but if I'll be selecting negligible risk level became low. So this is our text matrix. Now we will be creating numerical matrix. We'll click on sheets name. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go on top. Move or copy, move to end, create a copy and I'll select OK. So my copy got created. I'll come to right hand side. We'll delete all the headers from here and from here also. We'll be taking numbers. So this will be 5, 4. We'll select both and we'll drag it down. We'll click on top on impact 1, 2. We'll select both and we'll drag this till end. We'll delete all the risk from here. We'll click on first impact. Our formula will be plus or equal to impact into probability. We have to drag our formula to bottom as well as to the right. So we will have to partially lock our impact as well as probability. In probability, I'll insert dollar in the very beginning and in impact, I'll insert dollar in the center and we'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this down and we'll drag this to right side. Let's come to left. We will have to change our probability and impact because now it's numerical. When I'll click on drop down, our drop down numbers also got changed because I have connected this from probability and impact. So this is number five. Let's align this in center. Let's come to impact. And this is also number five. Let's align this in center. 
these figures are based from our matrix. Let's come to left. I change all the probability as well as impact. So I have changed all the things. I haven't changed any formula over here. Whenever we will change the probability, figures in risk level will keep on changing. Let's keep as 5. You can put color over here as per your text matrix. Totally depends on you. Let's come to the second sheet. Let's rename the sheet. This will be numerical matrix. I'll come to left hand side. We'll select probability and impact and we'll select till bottom. We'll go to insert. We'll come in the center, charts and from here I'll select bubble. On the top, we can see chart design. We'll click on drop down and we can select any chart design of our choice. Let's select this. We'll take this on top. We'll come to left hand side. We'll go to quick layout and from here we can select any layout of our choice. In probability, we can see from 0 to 6. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go to format axis. We'll come to right hand side. Minimum, we can see 0. We'll do as 1 and maximum as 5. In units, we can see 0 0.5. We'll do as 1 and we'll close this. Over here also, in impact, we will do the same thing. We'll right click the mouse. Format axis, we'll do as 1 means minimum as 1, maximum as 5 and units as 1 and we'll close this. We'll delete impact from here. We'll remove the grid lines. We'll click in the center. We'll go to format tab, shape fill. We'll click on drop down and we'll go to gradient. We'll come down and we'll select more gradients over here. We'll select gradient and we can see gradient color over here. I have taken the same colors what was in our text matrix. Now I'll close this. In case you want to change the color of bubbles, it can be done very easily. Just click on any bubble, go to format, shape fill and select any color of your choice. Let's keep as blue or let's press Ctrl Z or Command Z. I'll keep all bubbles selected. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go to format data labels. I'll click values from cells and a small window popped up. Data label range. I'll click over here. We'll come to left hand side and we'll select all the risk from top to bottom and we'll do OK. We'll take this to left. Now we can see all the risk over here. We'll click on the risk. We'll go to format, shape fill. We'll select a desired color. We'll click on labels. We'll right click the mouse. Format data labels. Over here, our X as well as Y value are unchecked. In case it's checked in your system, just uncheck this. Now I'll close this. Over here, it's lapping. Let's drag this on top. Now I'll click on impact, which we can see on top. We'll delete this. This will be risk assessment. Risk assessment matrix. We'll come to left. This is probability. And this is impact. Now we can place this matrix as per our requirement. You can place over here or you can resize this and place at the bottom. Choice is totally yours. And both the things are done. Our text matrix as well as numerical matrix. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.